hey guys so i've been getting your requests for more skincare and i thought i would give you an alternative to the dirt coffee scrub video that i did last year so today i'm going to show you guys a sugar scrub but unlike most of the sugar scrubs that i used to buy i wanted something nice and creamy which is also going to save me time after i get out of the shower which i will explain later so to achieve that i'm actually making a base that is made of my whipped shea butter however we are switching up the ingredients so if you saw that video then you know the first step is to actually melt down your butters however this step is optional so if you don't want to do that you just want to make sure that you've left your butters sitting out at room temperature however long it takes for them to get to a soft texture and as i mentioned shea butter should already be soft because that is a natural quality that it has to it so if yours isn't that usually means that either just the climate that you live in is pretty cold or unfortunately what you have is not actually shea butter and it could be another butter in disguise or you can use what I'm using today, which is mango butter, which is even softer than shea butter. In this recipe, I am using predominantly mango butter and I added just a little bit of shea butter to get the texture that I was looking for. However, you can skip it and just use mango. The exact measurements are going to be in the description box below, but as always, you guys can substitute the liquid oils for whatever oil that you want, and then I whip them up. Again, I go over this entire process in my whipped shea butter video. So if you guys want more detail, then I would recommend that you go check that video i'll link it in the description box below and i'll also put it in the cards which you can get to by clicking the i in the right hand corner of the screen and then lastly for our exfoliant i am just using regular granulated white sugar because it is very fine and it's going to give you a final consistency that is very similar to the butter that you created meaning it's going to say very light and whipped and creamy but you can feel free to add a coarse sugar if you would like to. So just to show you what that looked like, I'm using an organic turbinado sugar here. But as you can see, it does change the texture slightly because the sugar is so chunky. So you end up with something that looks a little bit more like porridge or oatmeal. And with that, you're actually going to get different results from your scrub as well. So um, for instance, I like to use that coarser sugar on my body. And then I would recommend the finer sugar for an area like your face or um, people who have very sensitive skin. And also something I don't usually mention i'm sorry i don't know why but the shelf life scoop it out with like a spatula or a spoon that you have specifically designated to your body care products do not dip your wet fingers into it with your hand because then you are going to shorten the lifespan of this by uh, a lot because when you put water in a product you then have to use a preservative otherwise it'll start to grow bacteria and get really gross and you can keep this in a cool dark place for up to six months now how you want to use this is after you've cleansed so once you've washed your body then i would actually recommend that you pat dry and the reason why is because we don't want the sugar crystals to melt before they actually get a chance to do their job so your skin will be damp because it has absorbed the water however we don't want it to be like dripping wet so you want to take a scoop of it and just massage it in circular motions once you're done you can then just rinse it off and then i recommend that you just pat dry because the benefit of using all of those gorgeous butters and oils is that you now already have lotion on your skin so we don't want to wipe it away by being really abrasive with a towel you only want to absorb the droplets of water it's going to lock in the moisture because remember moisture is water so the same way that those droplets of water that are sitting on top of the butter don't get in that also means that the water in your skin doesn't get out and again if you guys appreciate a good diy then you must be subscribed to skillshare it's a no-brainer it's a one-stop shop for learning whether it's just personal or if you want to use it as a tool to run your business and you probably already know but skillshare is an online platform where you can learn skills and if you guys were like what is the difference between this and just finding a youtube video well the reason that you are here is because you're learning how to do something however it's in a very condensed amount of time the benefit to taking a skillshare class is because it's exactly that it's a class so you are actually getting the experience that you would in a classroom meaning that your instructor has taken the time to lay out the information in a way that's going to be easy to comprehend so no matter what category you pick the course that you take is going to be delivered in a sequence and broken down into even shorter videos that cover subcategories so that is why i subscribe to skillshare because it is like less than ten dollars a month so it's not really pricey for me to keep up with and in fact it's even cheaper than that because you guys can get a two month free trial by just signing up with my link down below so if there's anything on your wish list that you've been wanting to learn but been putting it off just check it out because skillshare has classes on literally everything and they've got thousands of videos hope you guys like this video if you did you know what to do like comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next week. Bye.